Sasha Booker is an attorney with Lambda Legal, focusing on LGBT cases, and says the Masterpiece Cake Shop lawsuit is just a basic protection that has importance far beyond things like desserts. We've heard warnings of maybe off-putting people who are in the middle, who could be moderates out there and allies of the LGBT mm -hmm. community by appearing militant. Do you think that's legitimate? I think that, especially now, that it's really important to um, listen to each other uh, and, and debate you know, um, any issue you know, uh, politely and respectfully. Uh, and I think that, yes, you know, uh, appearing militant in any um, context where these you know, really important questions are being raised is, is probably not helpful. If people do have sincere objections or reservations, I wonder when, from a legal standpoint, mm -hmm. should it be legal for someone to withdraw or somehow withhold uh, based on their religious belief and, and be in a legal territory that's not going to land them out of business or in jail? Uh, for example, uh, under the federal civil rights protections, the Civil Rights Act that was passed in 1964, uh, that Which this case is, is related to. It is, yeah, yeah, and uh, you know, it's it's there was a religious exemption placed, you know, in consideration, you know, of you know that that history of you know protecting religious beliefs, and I'll also say that you know the law is 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 really careful to make sure that people aren't discriminated against because of their religious beliefs. So in other words. Uh, the law is currently written both in Colorado and uh, under our federal law, you know, people, a Muslim person, for example, wouldn't be denied service going into a store because they're Muslim. Because they're a protected class. They're absolutely, they're a protected class, just like sexual orientation is a protected class in Colorado, Colorado. for example. So, you know, um, I think that, you know, the law was written to um, protect those religious beliefs and unfortunately, you know, what's happening in this case involving, you know, Charlie and David's case is that you know, there are, you know, folks who are, are arguing that, you know, they should be able to discriminate against that Muslim person or that gay person or that trans person. You know, I think one thing that's often forgotten in these discussions is, you know, the, the harm that is caused to, you know, uh, uh, LGBT folks and anybody that is going to be discriminated against, you know, if the you know people that are bringing this case have their way, uh, and it's not just about a cake. This is, you know, this this is um, this transcends, you know, a bakery. How do you see this case playing out? And the second part, how would you like to see this case play out? But I believe that uh, the court will will um, hold that this, you know, that that that. that this kind of gaping hole within our non-discrimination provisions is dangerous and uh, will lead to, you know, um, a lot of harm. I would like to see a unanimous uh, ruling that holds it, um, that this isn't, uh, that we're not going to tolerate this kind of discrimination in our culture.